So here are some polymers or hydrogels, the other name for them. These are going to be the size of a racquetball and the brand name is Water Balls. Anyway, before we submerge them in water, they were about the size, maybe a smaller than a marble, probably half an inch across, maybe a little less. And right now, um, they've gotten pretty big. We, this is, it's been about overnight, so it's been in the water for about 16 hours. And I'm gonna show you why they're kind of bumpy here. So the reason why they have this, um, oops, oh no, <laughs> broke it. Funny shape or different um, shape, it's not completely around yet, is because a polymer is made of many units uh, linked together like a chain, and they form a bigger molecule. So when combined with the water, the water molecules bond with this polymer and they expand. So these ones are supposed to expand up to 300 times their volume at their full capacity, but I'm sure um, they vary. So that's why uh, they are shaped a little different here. And when they are expanded fully, they'll be round. And I've got a yellow one here that's been in the water long, probably eight hours longer. So this one seats become, becoming more of a rounder shape as it absorbs the water. So what we're gonna try with these is we're gonna try to germinate a seed inside, kind of like what we did with the smaller polymers and we'll see if we can get more oxygen in there somehow. So one side note I want to make of these Water Balls brand polymers, they have been recalled because a younger child under one had got a hold of it, swallowed it, and it was stuck in its intestines. So it's very dangerous um, for these to be around younger children than five or four, which is what the recommended age was on the packaging. So as parents, we are responsible it is our responsibility to make sure that you buy age-appropriate you know, toys and experiment science stuff, whatever you're doing, you may wanna make sure that your children are always supervised. So here are the super absorbent polymers and those are the jumbo ones right there comparing to the regular sized one, which is about a little bigger than a marble. And let me pick up one of these. So. They're pretty big, they, so I guess they are about the size of a racquetball, so it's pretty amazing. So here's a sweet pea that I placed inside these jumbo polymers, and it's germinating. And the polymer broke in half because they're so fragile, so I think when the roots and that stem pushed, pushed um, out of the seed, and it cracked the polymer in half, so but I wanted to show you the root. There's a little root right there. So it's a neat um, experiment to do. So it's pretty um, neat looking too, growing you know from that polymer there. So, so again, I'm just doing this for an experiment and I wouldn't recommend edible plants to germinate inside these polymers. So probably do like ornamental plants, you know. But um, the, how I put the um, polymer in there is I just uh, gently poked a hole through the polymer with a straw, you know, this, the regular size straws, and I have to gently get some of the polymers out, the um, uh, chunk of it. That way there's, there was air circulating inside the polymer there. 